this is the Ebb Stadium, the home of the shots. Please welcome onto the pitch the match officials and the players of AFC File and all the shot town. For all the shot town, it's number one, Geordie Van Staffordshire. Two, Haji Minoga. Three, Ollie Harfield. Four, Kean Harries. Five, Kobe Rowe. Six, Theo Widrington. Seven, Stuart O'Keefe. Nine, Lorraine Tolage. Eleven, Ryan Glover. Twenty, Josh Barrett. And 22, Jack Barham. He did referee the game here between Aldershot and Halifax that uh, Tolage scored the 94th minute winner, 1 0. Here's Richardson kicking forward out to the left side. Rowe leaves it. It then comes off Ustabasi and goes behind the goal away to our left. And then goes backwards. It's sent forward down the line, bounces once. And it's played forward by Fylde, nicely taken down by O'Keefe. But uh, Aldershot win it, it breaks free. Barham's picked it up into the path of Barrett. Barrett towards the edge of the area, in towards Stolledge, inside the area. And it's wide. A lot of the supporters here thought that that had gone into the net because the ball rolled along the back of it. I don't think I wasn't fooled by it. Freddie may be 50-50. It is nil-nil. Tolledge is shot wide of the post. Ready. It's a very bright start and I was fooled by it a little bit. The net did ripple, but unfortunately it was a wrong side for the shots. But it's a very bright start. Good to see the boys interchanging early. I spoke prior to the game. Well, let's come back to that because Horton's going to step up now. And it's saved in his midriff by Van Stappershoef. He, uh, he hit the target well, but it was straight down the middle and I would say straight down the throat, but more the, uh, the belly button of uh, Van Stappershoef. Van Stappershoef is a man mountain and anything above head height is most likely sailing over the crossbar. Inside from him to Rowe, Rowe feints to go one way and then his path back to Van Stappershoef was cut off but he was clever enough to spot that he could then get Harry's in. Oh, lovely ball from Harry's over the top, taken in his stride brilliantly by Glover, sends it in, Barham stretches and can't quite get there. What a simple but effective goal that could have been. Harry's with a beautifully weighted ball, taken wonderfully in his stride by Glover, sent it in, and uh, Jack Barham agonisingly inches away from guiding it in at the far post, Freddie. Yeah, it's a brilliant ball over the top from Keane Harry's, and we know he possesses that with his wonderful left foot. And then it's a brilliant touch and run by Glover to get to the edge of the box, and then brilliant cross ac across to Jack Barham, and he was just inches away from putting the shots into the lead. Right, another corner then to file. It's going to be taken right-footed. In it comes to the near post. There's a little flick on, followed up and smashed in at the East Bank end. And Fylde have taken the lead here. Their good form goes on. And in the 28th minute, it is Aldershot Town nil, AFC Fylde one. Freddie, your thoughts on the goal, and did you identify the player that ghosted in and smashed it through the body I of players? I believe it was Jonathan Ustabasi steaming in. And he's picked up all too easily by Barrett. Har Harry sends it forward. Richardson's out of his area. Oh, header, header from the goalkeeper. Does find a filed player. And then Rowe can only head it up in the air. This is all very scrappy, and that has to be a push from Ormerod. No, nothing given. Ormerod plays it into the path of Kays inside the penalty area, and he buries his shot. But Fylde go 2 0 up, and that had to be a free kick to Aldershot. But the goal's been given, and Harry's has been shown red as well for his protest afterwards to Richardson. Fylde have doubled their lead, Harry's has been sent off, and Aldershot are in all sorts of trouble here. 33 minutes in, Freddie. I'm in disbelief. That is a blatant foul on an Aldershot defender which has put Fylde through a clear push by Ulmerod and then Harry's is sent off for of probably saying something to the referee and Fylde well everything they touch turns to gold now apart from gold who left them and went to Kidderminster to gold on Mateo <laughs> um, here they are in possession again if you're watching and listening on as a Fylde fan you'll be delighted with this in comes a ball from Barrett, another shot, it's in, it's brilliantly finished. And it's that man, Nick Horton, just a ball into his feet on the edge of the area, sharp turn and finish. And Fylde go and celebrate 
rather deliberately in front of the Aldershot Town supporters, which uh, is only going to inflame the situation. But, yeah, great touch, great turn, great finish from Nick Horton. Shots nil, fire three. Yeah, that was a clear foul on Stokes. He was being held back, and the referee's seen it as Stokes being the, being the one to be punished. Right, here's Mr. Bassi goes past Glover. Shot is well saved by Van Stappershoef, and he parries it over the bar for a corner. But as the West Ham fans did against Arsenal, 4 0 down at half time. There's good work from Barham to win a 50 50. Stokes is onto it, come back to O'Keefe. Ball lifted over the top, and Barham's not given offside. He's making his way into the penalty area, squares it. Tolladge will pick it up, try and get it onto his left foot, passes to Stokes. Oh, his shot hits the underside of the bar and he's cleared away and all the shot could have been right on the verge of half-time, back to 3-1. And Stokes can't believe it, he couldn't have hit it much better, Freddie. No, it's brilliant interplay, interplay from the boys, lay back to Stokes, it's looking destined for the top corner and it's just hit the bar. His foul breaking away on the left-hand side. Cut back, Ustabasi squares it. Slotted shot, shoot, is missed. And then smashed in off the post by Josh Kay. And filed go 4-0 up in the 51st minute. And uh, it is all to shot down nil. Filed four, Freddie. Great break by filed again down the shot's right-hand side. Hadji Minogue slipped as the man's cut inside. He's played it across. Looks like a misfired shot from Ustabasi. It's fallen nicely to Kay. He's smashed it towards goal and it's come off the far post and smashed into the back of the net. Nothing Kobe Rowe or any of the old shot defenders could do with that one. And uh, you can see them turning it on a little bit here, can't you? Yeah, they're into game management. They're not pushing forward if they need to. Just break Here's off, Kay so. down the right hand side, gets the score. Oh, got it in. Ball was half cleared. Horton headed it towards goal, but Van Stappershoe have read it. so. No brace for Horton. All three subs used by Aldershot. I think two, is it, so far from Fylde? Yeah. Um, they've still got Adam Long, Joe Wesley and Daniel Whitehead. But here's Barham, he's into the area. Shoots across the goal, he beats Richardson. Uh, but unfortunately, the shot whistles past the other post as well for a throw. Now he's going to send a cross in. Headed away by Graham, only as far as Stokes, who heads it back in. Kwame Thomas heads it up in the air. Ball bouncing around, 50-50, Stokes is fighting for it. He's onto it, he's into the end of the penalty area. Squares it, and it's missed by Thomas, lunging in at it. Aldershot have picked it up on the right-hand side. As far as Ethan Mitchell, he pings it out to the left side, where it's taken down nicely and played inside. Ball into the penalty area, where Agshead Plays it back out, now has shifted out to Bryce Hosanna, he's one and one against Harfield in the box, drills it in, and it's offside, it's found its way into the net through Joe Westley. I think he literally smashed the cross in, and I'd be very surprised if Westley knew anything about it, but it hit him and went into the goal, and the uh, assistant referee came to Aldershot Town's rescue, Freddie. Yep, a very quick flag from the assistant to keep the fired fans as quiet as they can be when they're 4-0 up. Uh, yeah, they're 9-2 down against Mansfield. Um, yeah, Mansfield 9, Harrogate 2. <laughs> and well done, Lewis Davis, for finding a positive there. All the shot are only 4-0 down. <laughs> Harrogate are 9-2 down. He's fired with the ball into the far post. Ormerod heads it back across. It's towed in by Wesley. The goal counts. I just don't know whether it was Ormerod or Wesley. Filed won't care, those two can scrap it out. <coughs> Excuse me, in the 88th minute, it is Aldershot Town nil, Filed 5. To be fair to Filed, that was a great goal. A brilliant ball in by the man on the left-hand side. A great header across by Olmerod. Whether it creeps over the line, it was certainly going in. So whether Wesley just towed it over or it was already over by the end, we won't know. But some of the decisions that he's made in the first half, which have incensed the old shot faithful, but uh, that's to take nothing away Freddie from Fylde, who have been superb tonight and extended their excellent run of form with a 5-0 victory against 10 men, shots 